What are distractions? Distractions are anything that takes your attention away from your intended focus. Focus is required for clear thinking. Tasks that require attention should be done in a manner as such to avoid distractions. For example, driving a car requires full attention. Distractions draw our attention from what we have set out to do. Distractions are avoidable with thoughtful planning. Distractions aren't necessarily your fault, but managing them is your responsibility. Ways to identify distractions. It can be easy to dismiss that something is distracting to your work output. Casual interference from any outside source can pull attention away from tasks. Whether work or school related, assignments require a certain amount of dedicated attention. Identify your own habits to determine if you are successfully avoiding distractions. Do you listen to music or watch a movie while working on assignments? Have dedicated time? Dedicated workspace? A written plan? Do you turn off your phone? Look for ways to minimize outside influences that pull your attention away from your intended focus. Once you identify your distraction, you will work towards traction. Remember, traction is any action you do with intent. Types of strategies, time management and scheduling, managing social expectations from others, define your study space in a quiet location, set your intentions by focusing and de-stressing, go offline and tune out. Time management and scheduling. Take control of your schedule. With an increase of demands, whether social, educational, family, or work, it is easier to balance your schedule so you have ample time to de dedicate to what you value. Utilize time management apps. There are endless applications for phones and smartwatches that can help you stay on track. Plan a routine and enter your intentions into your schedule. Break down tasks to achievable milestones. Make sure to set goals and timelines for longer term projects and make sure deadlines are noted. Be cognizant of when you have energy to focus. Everyone has peak hours when they feel the most able to focus on complex tasks. Prioritize important tasks. Don't allow yourself to burn out. Take breaks. Stick to a routine. What statistics tells us, it takes an average of 23 minutes and 15 seconds to get back on task. Managing social expectations from others. Social obligations can be distracting only if we allow them to be. Help others understand by communicating that you may have an upcoming heavy workload. This can help others respect your need for time alone. Share your schedule with people on a need to know basis so they can help you maintain focus by not disturbing you. Likely, you may get encouragement and support. Schedule time for friends and family and stick to it. This goes back to time management. Avoid spontaneity. It can be really hard to turn down last minute drinks or a quick date, but unless you are able to rebalance your schedule to accommodate, it is best to reject last minute offers. And remember, if you have communicated well, others will respect your decisions. Defining your study space. First, you should identify the location or place for your studying, the library, academic buildings, miscellaneous places, off-campus. Once you identify your quiet place or location, then you need to create that study space. Creating a study space. Remove distractions such as phones, games, food, people. Have easy access to everything before you start. Textbooks, notes, index cards. Experiment with lighting. It's been stated that warmer lighting allows you to be more creative than cooler lighting. Adjust your study space based on your ideal temperature. Having a room too hot or cold could distract you from your work. Additional tips or advice. Take a break every 30 to 60 minutes. Keep your study space the way you like it, clean or messy. Ensure everything is working before you start, like your calculator or laptop. Focus, de-stress, set your intentions. 
Practicing mindfulness and meditation, it changes your brain and the way you process information. Drop multitasking. It allows you to be able to focus more on the task at hand. Change your environment. Removing yourself from a certain place or location can be more relaxing for your mind. Go running or walking to clear your mind. It's also a good stress reliever. Express yourself by writing in a journal or even talking with someone. Start off with putting yourself in a distraction-free place. Set three major goals or objectives to accomplish every day. Tip, write these down on a sticky note as a reminder throughout the day. Monitor your wandering mind. Redirect your thoughts when you lose focus. When it comes to finding ways to tune out distractions or going offline, it is important to consider these factors. Creating a routine and sticking to it. Follow your daily rituals with coursework as well as activities. Over time, you can evolve your schedule or rituals. Remove all electronic devices or simply turn them off. Establish your priorities as far as ordering what's more important or needs more time and attention. Reflect and adjust to your schedule. At the end of the day, this is a game of focus. Very clever. All right, now, attention is like a spotlight. And our job is to dance in the darkness. I didn't even feel you take that. The human brain is slow, <laughs> and it cannot multitask. Jesus, when... Human behavior is very predictable. I touch you here, I steal from here. I tap you here, I steal from here. I step to here, you're not gonna slap my face, are you? Why? You would if you knew where my hand was. Okay, I get it. Summary. By taking control over your surroundings and obligations, you can minimize distractions. In doing so, you are affording yourself valuable time to focus on specific tasks. Remember to utilize routines, plans, or schedules. Make time to make time. If you appropriately plan your workload and social events, you will feel amply prepared to complete tasks and that you are not missing out on life. Do your best to find an area that you feel confident is free of distractions, which also includes going unplugged for a bit. Make sure this location is available during your peak hours for concentration. Don't overload yourself. This goes back to proper planning and time management. Keep goals and priorities written down so you have reference to your path and intentions. The key to success is focus to gain traction. F-O-C-U-S. Follow one course until success.